Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night brew session. Chat and I have been hanging out now for, uh, oh, an hour. Oh, jeez, an hour. Okay. An hour brewing uh, this splendid deck. I really want to play Reality Chip. It's actually one of my favorite cards that have been printed recently. I actually registered this card for the Pro Tour. Uh, one of the last Pro Tour, actually the last Pro Tour that I qualified for, I registered uh, Paradox Engine a historic combo deck with reality chip uh and i i have i'm a big fan so for those who don't know this is a future sight effect that is a creature that is an 04 uh you don't get the future you don't get the future sight effect well you get part of the future sight effect while it's an 04 you can look at the top card of your library uh but if you attach your reality chip to a creature you can actually play lands and cast spells off the top of your library so i have cooked us we have cooked us there has been some cooking, uh, and we are playing a Luris of the Dream Den uh, reality ship combo deck in Vintage tonight. We are a heavy blue deck, so we can play Force of Will and Flusterstorm. And here are some of our combos. Uh, if we have a reality ship and we have an Ethereum Sculptor, where Sensei's top costs zero, we can draw through our deck by tapping our top and replaying it off the top of our library. Uh, if we have two Sensei's tops, then we can just draw and play off the top of our library, uh, making infinite patchwork automatons. Uh, and then, obviously, all of these combos don't have to be super infinite. They can just be normal, uh, where you have a lot of mana, and you draw cards, and you cast zero drops off the top of the library with reality chip. Uh, but obviously, uh, everything every time things cost one less, uh, top becomes super, super crazy. Uh, we have a Ledger Shredder here to help us, you know, get rid of uh, extra combo pieces and filter and also give us this little bit of a plan B attack pattern here with Ledger Shredder and Patchwork Automaton. Um, and we, of course, have everyone's favorite Urza Saga and Seed of the Cyanod so that we can get maximum punished by Force of Vigor decks. And it will be fun for everyone. Uh, anything else interesting about this deck? We are going to play some Thought Casts to give us some more velocity, some Fluster Storms to protect us from said Force of Vigor. We are going to play Volt Key as our way to definitively win the game when we draw through our deck. And we have a sideboard full of Dismembers to remove Collector Roofs and White Creatures. And we have uh, a pile of six different Bizarre Hate cards. Some extra Counter Spells for a Doomsday opponent. And uh, Steel Sabotage for Artifacts. Let's just go to round one. If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, here we go. Round one of our Vintage League with the Reality Chip Brew. I have a cat, and I have a hand that does not, unfortunately, produce mana. Very close to producing mana, but very far from producing mana. Any Moxin or non-Opal Moxin? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty out of fifty-three is not acceptable. That's small again. Okay, this hand has Force, Ancestral, Enchantment Land. Oh no, it's Bizarre Baghdad. It is Collector Oof. Oh no. Even worse. Uh, so my opponent... Oh, boy. Okay. So my opponent kept a six-card hand after powdering. We are... I mean, this thing is an 4 That can block some things. Some things can be blocked. Vengevine in the yard and no creature. Okay, okay, okay. No free creatures. Vengevine in the yard. This is good. We have a, a currently have an answer to a collector roof. Uh, let's just cast ancestral. If we overdraw, I think that is acceptable. I'd love to hit a zero drop though. That can play. <laughs> 
How does this happen to me? Well, I don't think I'm allowed to force this because I need to be able to force a collector roof off of um, Yavamaya. I always love it when the deck that plays no blue mana hits me with the counter spell. Oh no. Watch them go root walla hollow one Vengevine here. Things are bad. Things are very bad. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. They don't have a Vengevine in play. <laughs> My opponent said, I'm really the villain, not gonna lie. You are. I appreciate your self-awareness. Can I get a Moxon? Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, if I play a reality chip, that blocks the entire board right now. And they're not generating value off of their Bizarre Baghdad, so... Worst things have happened. It's not a great draw from them. It's a low-power draw. Here's the guy's cradle, his collector roof coming. This is what I've waited for my whole life. Please no wet Vengevine. As long as there's no Vengevine... I can counter a collector roof, and then I, I think we're I think we're okay. Oh, we're okay. Thank God. Alright. I have countered collector roof. They have zero cards in hand. They have a blood gas in the yard, a vengevine in the yard, and some low power creatures in play. I think we have stabilized. I I believe we have stabilized. All right, all right. I think I'll take another set of damage to play the patchwork first, just in case they draw another collector roof this turn. All right, I assume upkeep bazaar, looking for root wallas. No root wallas were found. Draw for turn. What'd you draw for turn? They drew the collector roof? Oh, once upon a time. Uh, once upon a time is fine. This is acceptable. They found a Basking Rootwalla. Okay, that is scary. That is scary. All right, Moxon lets us construct. Ooh. All right, so now... I guess we just... We have an artifact land, thanks to the Seat of the Cyanod, so we can actually stabilize here. One, two, yeah. Uh, do I want to get in for two damage? Uh, no, I don't think I do. Yo, what's up, Stomp? All right, we get to make two Constructs, which will put us in a good spot. Should help us stabilize against possible Venge Vines here, because we do know there's a Blazing Root Walla coming off of this Bizarre Activation. Okay, there's two Blood Gas in the yard now. Oh, wait, I thought there was a Blazing Root Walla. Am I wrong? Okay... Can I realistically beat a Hex Drinker from this situation? I don't have a main deck Needle, so I think the answer is no. So I think I just have to force the Hex Drinker. All right, so I do have to take a Vengevine hit this turn. 
Uh, but next turn I'll have multiple five fives. So, ooh, they did not attack. That's very good for me. Because this is not a five five, right? It's a four four. Yeah, that was a bad no attack. I would say. Soul ring. All right. So I definitely need to make another construct. And then what am I searching for here? I'd love to search for a sensei's top. But is there any world where we can get a sapphire here? Because we Or what if we get a black lotus? Can we... Oh, they're off it. Interesting. I don't think I would concede from here because you can still draw Force of Vigor and hard cast it on my constructs. Uh, I think the answer is top. There's like some value to Black Lotus because we have access to Luris, right? So next turn we could go Soul Ring, Lotus, Luris, Lotus. You don't think Lotus is good here? I kind of think I might want to go Lotus. Like, Lotus Luris here looks very good. But Key and Top definitely are cards that are interesting. Again, I don't think my opponent should concede here. They have plenty of outs, and they have an active bazaar. I don't really like that concession. Um, what we'll do is we'll bring in a bunch of Needle. Man, what do we even do? Are we really going to bring in a bunch of Needles against this? They only need, like, one activation, right? I really hate playing against Agravine, because none of your sideboard cards are actually good. Yeah. I mean, we should have a Needle, probably. We probably just, like, don't play Thought Cast, though. So maybe we can just play, like, a Needle and some Dismembers for Collector Roof. It's tough. We don't really want to cut Flusterstorm because of how bad we are against Vigor. Maybe we trim, like, a Reality Trip here, a Ethereum Sculptor. Or maybe we gym like this and play. I kind of uh, play two needles or something. I mean, we we are losing the hex trick trinker, but maybe it's fine. Trimming combo seems bad. Well, my opponent is a four collector roof deck, so having a lot of these moving pieces is not ideal. I think this is going to be what I'm going to do. Mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like this. Combo is the best angle to beat Vine. I'm not really convinced that's true. Like, you can just get a Ledger Shredder to a 3-5 and they can't ever win the game. I mean, they have Hex Shrinker, I guess, which is why I kind of wanted to keep Mental Mist up in, but I guess Needle stops Hex Shrinker, so. I don't think the Fair Plan is too slow unless they have an extremely powerful draw. And I feel like the combo plan is too vulnerable versus what they're doing. Double Hollow one is certainly problematic, though. Oh, and Black Lotus Collector Roof? Okay, fair enough. No hand was ever beating any of this, so... Yeah, I mean, I think our hand is quite good, but... Uh, their hand is too good. Um, uh, 
Yeah, I think this is the way I want to approach the game. What kind of blue count am I hitting here? 20? It's not great, but... All right, we're looking for a turn one needle with protection. That just does not look playable. If this Moxon was a... Not an Opal, then I would probably keep this hand. Uh, but because this is an Opal, I can't keep this hand. All right. I mean, let's hope we don't get missed up. I don't mind this hand. Fast mana, ancestral, answer to a collector oof. I wonder if there's any merit to play Shredder on turn one. Huh. I I think I would keep the Soul Ring over the Ethereum Sculptor. Going Mox Shredder here is kind of compelling. I think it's better. I want to hold this old ring uh, for next turn. We can't actually connive on the first turn of the game, but I, this lets me connive off of their turn. Um, so theoretically, we should be able to make this bigger, big enough by turn two to block anything. Well, we can always play Soul Ring next turn to trigger our Shredder uh, and bait missed up. They hit Vengevine off of their Once Upon a Time. Let's see what happens. They've got double Basking Rootwalla, so we will trigger Shredder here. They are going to hit us with a Vengevine. Uh, wow, that's a card too. I feel like this Soul Ring is still better than this top, though. Top is so good with Shredder, but the Shredder's going to be big enough by the next turn anyways. No, I don't think dumping Dismember is a good idea. We are going to have a hard time functioning through a Collector Roof still. I think I'm just going to dump this top. We can always like Sol Ring and put our Lurus in our hand too, so. So we are gonna get hit for four this turn, but every other turn we'll be able to block, so. Yeah, I understand that. I don't think I wanna dump the dismember though. The shredder should be good enough, I hope. Like we also need to dismember like a hex shrinker too, so. Alright, we immediately drew a second dismember, of course. Do we beat the uh, mental misstep with a soul ring? I think so. I think they also have vigor right now, but. <laughs> okay, cool. Why not? Uh, I still have mental misstep in my deck, right? So I can respond by ancestraling. Ooh. All right, I will dismember, get rid of one dismember here. Okay. No, I think someone wanted me to cut it, but I said no. Uh, so I think I just play a Saga and Pass that exposes me a bit to Vigor, but I think that's fine. I like where we're at in this game. I think we're in a good spot. 
they have to pretty much have a vigor or a wasteland here, or they're going to lose to the saga probably. And then we actually have a follow up plan. I like where we're at. I really think that Ledger Shredder is quite good against Vine on the play on turn one. Like, like obviously, there like are certain circumstances where Ledger Shredder is not fast enough, but Ledger Shredder is very powerful against Bench Vine. All right, they've been to Collector Oof. They played a Hollow One. We will be able to block this Hollow One soon. Uh, uh huh. They are they are garrisoning a, quite an army here, but that's not a wasteland. So they need to have a vigor. At some point, this dismember will be hard to cast, which we need to keep in mind. Though we do have a, to almost double have double black mana, so we can like play Talarian Academy to make all of our mana things, and then we have double black mana to play dismember for no life cost. Ooh, they're gonna let us shredder. I'd love to see it. We're gonna probably have to hit the drinker. I do want to go to. Four six, so I do think I'm gonna pitch this opal. Mm, that's tough. I, maybe we're not supposed to pitch the opal. We don't need to go to four six yet. We can go to four six next turn. I think I want to hold the opal for a trigger and for black mana. They have one card, so we can't get we can't get vigored. So I think we're winning by a lot right now. Second Saga. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I think... Hmm. Can we play Luris this turn? Play Opal... Play patch. No, we can't play Lurus this turn. Mm. The problem is, what am I looting if I do that? Like, I don't want to loot away Second Saga. I just have to hope my top spell is bad. I could instead play Talarian Academy... Play, nah, play Patchwork, play Opal, right? Or I could play, make a token, play a ca uh, Patchwork, play Opal. Not keeping, I mean, we're planning on keeping up Dismember off of Opal, right? All right, well. We actually did not get something high enough to four six block here, but I guess that's fine. I would really like to not use life to dismember, but this is a collector oof. I don't even have to dismember right now, right? Unless they have... <sighs> if their last card is Gaia's Cradle. One, two, three. No, it just goes to... Mm. It's really frustrating. Well, they can just play Cradle pre post combat, so it doesn't really help us, right? I mean, maybe they'll play it pre combat and help us, but. If my academy gets wastelanded, are we really winning this game, though?
I'm not going to wasteland. I, I'm not going to dismember the Hex Shrinker. One, I don't think they have it. And two, I think we're okay. I'm also not going to kill Oof right now. I'm going to kill Oof on my upkeep, probably. Uh, I don't want to lose a Construct token, but I, I just think if I keep my life total high, I'll be in a better... Oh, okay. If they're going to attack with this, then I'm going to just block and take four. What? Okay. Block, block. No, they're just not going to attack at all. I think not attacking at all makes sense to me. Oh. Oh, they do have Wasteland? Attacking with Blood Gas means they have. Oh, God. What if they have Gaia's Cradle? <laughs> Nope, second bizarre. Okay. There was no much, there was no point of that. I don't know. Baiting me. What if we just needle Hex Drinker? Kind of like that the most. This game has a little bit longer to go, but I do think we're in a very commanding position. I think I just dismember the collector roof, go for Luris. Luris gets back top and soul ring. We probe, we loot, we have huge ten tens. I think I am very happy with how I played this game, and I'm pretty happy with the deck as well. I love Ledger Shredder. I can't believe I sold them. <laughs> All right, let's do it again. Round two, I have a cat. I have a patchwork saga hand. Man, this is a hand that I feel like I would probably tell someone to mulligan, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea what this player plays. I mean, it's a very compelling fair plan, but no anti combo cards, and we're on the draw. Like, does this hand beat Workshop? No. Does this hand beat Bazaar? No. Does this hand beat Combo? No, this hand only really beats a fair deck, and those don't really exist, right? So we should probably just mulligan this hand. This hand is much better. Uh, I think this is just a chip to the bottom. I do think that the starting hand was good against fair decks. So this is either workshops or uh, combo jewel. Looks like it's combo jewel. So I'm definitely happy to have a force here. That's five mana on turn one. That's seven mana. This is going to be a might stone weak stone. Oh, that's worse. Okay. I will force that. Gotta love the PO off the sapphire. Very powerful. Uh, we're going to need some help. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean. Uh, 
If we draw a Mox that's not an Opal next turn, we can equip this Reality Chip. Might be good enough. We might just die on the next turn, too. It is Jewel. We are not drawing a Mox next turn. Oh, yeah, Opal actually works. You're right. All right, time to find out if we die. Opponent, all they need to have is their last two cards are, you know, Workshop or Ancient Tomb plus Jewel. Or even just another P.O. They have the mana for it. Opponent having the blue mana off of Sapphire on turn one is real rough variance for sure. This is six mana for Jewel. Do you have a Jewel? Trinisphere? Metamorph. Oh no, Metamorph my reality chip? Wait, no, they chose Patrick Automaton. Oh. This should be a Patrick. This should be a reality chip, right? Oh my god, my opponent is going to reality chip combo us. What a horrifying sequence of events. That is really, really bad for us. Oh no. Uh Okay. Ooh, boy. Uh, all right. So my opponent equips the reality chip. How bad is it for us? Pretty bad. I would I would consider that to be quite poor. They had to have exactly double <laughs> double metamorph for this to work, right? Because they need to have a creature and uh, jeez. Our com our opponent's gonna get the combo and we're not. How is that fair? Sad, Justin. Very sad, Justin. <laughs> Yo, this combo looks pretty good. All right, fine, fair, fun. At least someone gets to have fun, man. Let it, let it, you know. Why can't it be me? I don't know where opponent went. I don't know why they left. Look at the fun they're going to be having. Okay. Oh, oh, they're back. They're back. They momentarily left the arena, but they are now back. No, they lost connection to the game, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. They have zero cards in hand. Maybe the reality chip will be bad or something. I don't know. I think it's not going to be bad. If I had to guess, we are going to draw a double force next turn, and then we'll get this. You know, maybe we'll be able to find mana, do something. Yeah. Maybe they have a merch, a uh, pile of artifact uh, lands on top or something. I don't know. I feel we we have to get very lucky from here. I do think we probably had to find like Mox off the top on that turn. Oh, do they just have a? Oh, uh, they top decked a removal spell. Oh, I can't even play Thoughtcast now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is bad. Hmm. 
this just draws the same cards, but I think it's fine. Okay. I mean, they are at six life. Me doing something with the patchwork could be annoying. I'm not really sure. Well, the good news is I have a force. And maybe a second force. The bad news is... Everything else? Well, I mean, if their future sight means they cast a six drop, oh my lord. They are really strong. All right, well. Okay, Saga Gaming. All right, okay. This is good. No, no, I'm not. I'm not upset. I, they are. I mean, that card was very good. If I didn't have a force of will, I would not be happy. But I mean, they can still equip the reality chip with this might stone, unfortunately, which is what they're going to do. I assume. Maybe. What? They're casting another spell off their hand. What is happening? Wow. So their top three cards were Might Stone, Karn, Jewel. Uh, okay, so what is the best card to pitch? I don't think we need a Flusterstorm anymore, so... Like, a Flusterstorm isn't going to counter anything anymore, right? Because they're not going to be able to play P.O. Because these two tombs are turned off. All they have is these cards. So I think we just keep the Fluster on top. And then... I mean, we're just making a Construct, right? They can untap Monolith. Sure. I guess that's true. I'm never going to have blue mana for this, though. It's fine. They are attacking now. But we are going to make constructs, and they are lethal. Okay. So we draw on Ethereum Sculptor and we make two constructs. And then what? They still have the ability to freaking reality chip whenever they decide to. Unless they don't know how it works. Saga? Okay. I think we're going to need to go Manifold Key for the Dome piece. Do I have enough mana? I have exactly enough mana, right? I think that's just a W. No, no, no. I, I, we have, we have the unblackable. Boom! You should have equipped your reality chip. You should have equipped the reality chip, opponent. You did this to yourself. All right. Well, I'm gonna bring in steel sabotage and force of negation. 
I don't... Maybe I'll bring in a single needle for Saga Battles. I kind of think Flusterstorm is kind of hot garbo. Mental mist up kind of garbo. Uh, Thoughtcast, maybe? Ethereum Sculptor? Ethereum Sculptor. Nah, probably Patchwork. Patchwork's not really necessary here. Maybe, I mean, we can't search for a Flusterstorm. Shredder is a blue card, so that makes it better than Patchwork Automaton. Maybe we just want some Flusterstorms. I don't know. I just don't think this patchwork is like gonna do the job here. How good is Mental Mist up against Shop uh, Jewel? It's a very hard question. Buster does hit PO and Tinker Ancestral. I think I'm gonna go like this: full combo, but full counter magic. Well, almost full counter magic. I want one needle that I can get off Saga to name like Saga or Time Vault or something if I need to. I don't think Mistup is awful, but they are like a key Mana Vault, Soul Ring, Ancestral. It might be better than the third fluster, true. Man. This hand is uh sad days. We were very uh vindicated in our mulligan in game one. I have been back and forth over the misstep against this opponent. It hits it hits a couple it hits like some very high po high power cards. This hand is sweet. Mm hmm. God. Okay, yeah, sure. Pass? Really? I'm actually thinking I might go Lotus, Ruby, Soul Ring, Pass. And then I can go put Luris in my hand, play Luris, replay Lotus. And it also lets me hold up Force Double Fluster. What compelling reason would they have to keep this hand... If it doesn't have a turn one go. I I am going to stick with my gut here. And I'm going to just deploy my fast mana. Hold open hard cast force fluster storm. And then open myself up to going Luris replay. Replay. It can. Well, I guess this doesn't hold up force well fluster storm. Hard cast, but and like if they don't do anything again, then we can just go Luris replay Lotus pass again. Academy. Well, they got a millions of mana. Ancestral. That is frustrating. We could double fluster.
I mean, we could just double fluster it, right? We fluster it, they pay for it using Black Lotus, and we fluster it again. I actually think that's not bad. It really hampers their mana situation, makes good use of these fluster storms. It does mean we're really hard to get our game going, but... I think this is better. I mean, it's bad for us. Don't get me wrong. Not having Lotus is bad, but... They have three other cards. Yeah, but they played nothing with six mana on turn one. If they want to crack their Black Lotus to pay for this Flusterstorm, I think that's good for us. I guess they could have misstep and pay, 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 but that would be pretty bad. But they would have hit Soul Ring, I think. No? Are they going to force? Wow. Okay, I don't think we're ahead here, but with two blue land or two, two, uh, we're probably dead. I don't think this is winning for us. Like, if I let Ancestral resolve though, and they have, um, uh, Saga, like, can't do anything. It's a good draw for them. Gets them to six mana for a key. But we do have a creature now, so... Uh, yeah, probably, but I, I was worried that if I forced Ancestral, then they would just follow up with a an artifact or something. Man, Negation is not the draw we were looking for there. I, I don't think you're allowed to force of will the Ancestral Recall there. It, you either let it go or you double Fluster Storm. I think any other choice is, is not good enough. I really wish I, this is just not what I want here. I mean, a uh, jewel is probably lethal here, so. Is this a bite stone? Displacer? PO? PO for two? Sure. It's fine. Come on, uh, either a blue card or a blue mana source or a black mana source. Oh, why does that make my life so difficult? I mean, I, we have to play this, I think. Okay, this is just a play. It's a play. It's a play angle. Maybe we maybe we're supposed to hold so that we can negate a jewel. Ah. Uh. I'm too worried about Saga here, though. I mean, if we hit a mana, we can lure us Lotus and Hardcast. If they go for multiple spells, we get to loot. I don't know. I think Shredder, ha Shredder has a ton of power there. It's a good draw. Uh, all right. We really need extra blue mana sources, but I 
I mean, now I think we're in an okay spot. I mean, we go we 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 go off next turn if we like if we ever hit, you know, underground sea, jewel uh opal. Uh, Well, we're supposed to play this. The saga is going to murder us, though. This is a turn too late. We have no way to equip this because we're short on blue mana. How can I cast it? I'm curious to learn how we can cast this card. I need to equip my reality ship first. Yeah, it costs blue to equip. Uh, okay. I mean, it might not be over over. We have some plays. We have 20 life to work with here. We have a counter spell. <laughs> I, I mean, there's still a pretty good chance we can churn here. Like, simply drawing a top after equipping is winning. Though I guess they could maybe needle our chip. It's probably fine for us, though. If we get this Lurus in play, we have infinite chump blockers. If they go manifold key, we needle... If they go top, I don't think it's the end of the world for us. We still have a counter spell. They have a lot of mana, though. They have, like, 30 million mana now. I just don't see... I mean, we might chump with this Shredder. I mean, I played it in Historic. It was sweet. Don't think I'm going to jump with the Shredder, though. I need to be able to loot into some extra something. All right, maybe they have a counter spell for us, though. Time walk. I don't have another blue mana. I can't even get through this if I equip, so I have to go Shredder Needle. I go Shredder and Needle, and then I get two loots. It's got to be the best. Hit a blue mana, Time Walk, and then we probably win the game if it resolves. What if we draw our own Talarian Academy? Am I getting negated here? I'm getting forced on my needle? I'm getting my Shredder dismembered. You got it. I'm glad I didn't try to equip a Shredder, my lord. That would have made me sad. Probably should spin before you cast this member. All right. So after these things resolve, we draw a time walk and we draw a blue source and we go to our second main and we time walk. Please. Bro, why? Do I get rid of Luris? I can't get rid of Luris, right? I need Luris. Yeah, okay.
Uh, okay. So, I still am not dead on board. And I still have Sapphire, Time Walk, Equipping. We needled our combo? Sure. I don't think that matters, though. We can't really let them do Sensei stop things here. We should be able to play so many cards off Reality Ship. doesn't really matter if we have top or not. I mean, the Construct should not be 6-6s six for long. They're going to play an Artifact this turn, right? I mean, we might have... The problem with pitching Reality Ship is that I have to pitch Time Walk to Negation. Oh, they're not going to go... I'm just going to take this, right? There's no way they can flash an Artifact in. All right, sure, I'll go to one. Imagine they have, like, another Dismember. What is this? They have Hardcast Force back up for their PO? No. They have second PO? No. Okay. I don't have Fetches in my deck, so... Okay. Uh, I guess so. Maybe I shouldn't needle top. No, I needled my top. I would have won if I didn't needle my top, but I didn't want to let them spin. I, I think I had to needle top. I I I'm pretty sure I had to needle top. I couldn't beat double spell. I'm pretty sure I had to. Yeah... I double chump. I wish I could reconfigure this off of my stupid sculptor. I have steel sabotages in my deck. But I'm going to lose my Ethereum sculptor to double blocks here. So. Uh, maybe I'm just supposed to hold this top in my hand. Or, I mean, I'm not going to get a Shredder Trigger, so... And then we am going to draw Flusterstorm and die, right? No, I have Luris. I can play second chip. I mean, I can. Uh, but then I can't play Flusterstorm. I guess Flusterstorm doesn't do anything anyways. I mean, then I just lose my reality chip, and I have to bring it back with Luris. So, I don't think that helps me, really. Unless I want to keep Shredder. I mean, I have Luris next turn, right? So, I'll have two blockers. I, if our opponent doesn't top deck something that matters, then I think we get another full turn. Where we get to do Luris plus bring something back. I already played two spells. Maybe they play two spells. Fair. I don't think they'll play two spells because 
they would have done that before. Well, I can replay any of these creatures with my Luris and then play, like, do other things. So, I don't think I agree. I have Luris plus blue mana. Force on top. <laughs> These cards have not been ideal for me. Well, I think for the first turn, we're just going to chump with Chip and uh, something I put from my yard, like a Shredder, and keep Luris around, because I do have a second Chip next turn, so I could play Shredder and Chip and loot. It's still really bad for me, but we're still alive. We don't even have to... We do have to block twice. Uh, I mean, this is the first unknown card, right? Off of top. All right. I mean, we have the mana now to, like, do something. What is this? <laughs> really? That's painful. Uh, all right, that kills me. No, I disagree. I think Luris was really, really important. We just missed the opportunity by, like, just the slightest hair at all points. I think I had to needle top, but maybe I'm supposed to take the risk. My opponent had infinite mana. But they had already spinned. So they would have only gotten one extra look. Maybe we just weren't supposed to name top to give ourselves out. I, I don't think pitching Luris is correct. Though we would have gotten a nice time walk, which would have been nice. Uh, they are playing Dismembers, so I think Flusterstorm gets better than Mental Mist Up. I have a cat. Well, I mean, I think we were in an advantageous position. I don't know. I think I like my play. I would do it again. Typical Justin play. I mean, I, I think that needling top gives you like guaranteed turns where like we didn't even have it. We didn't even have our own top at that point. Nah, I, I like I like needling top there. Nah. Okay. I got multiple forces and a fluster storm against their six card hand. Let's see what happens. Mm hmm. Workshop. Lotus. They come in by Sapphire again. Uh huh. 
Ага. Чё? Okay, opponent. Mm. There's no real reason to expose the sapphire. Two cards in hand. Another jewel? A worm coil engine. Do I care? I don't think so. I don't think I would board in Worm Coil in this matchup. That seems like a misevaluation of what's going on here. But I'm happy my opponent did it. We'll see if that comes back and bites me, but... My first assumption is that card does not matter very much. What about second Worm Coil? I don't know! Second Worm Coil, Justin! What about second Worm Coil? Mm. I think second worm coil matters. <laughs> I think this is just a pitch shredder angle. Ah. Fine. Uh, did we win? If we get Black Lotus, I think that's just wins, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, equip, winning. Hell yeah. What's well, a three card combo, baby? Second worm coil did not matter. <laughs> True. Well, they could have Dismember, but I have Fluster, right? So... Wow. Wow. Get wrecked. My deck is broken. I actually have a lethal attacker this turn, too.
Maybe I just should have waited for Academy and not actually played the Secret of Sign on. Would have made my life a little bit easier, probably. That just win with time walk and eh, whatever. <laughs> Very nice. Would play again. Okay, we continue. Uh, yeah. If we don't die on turn one, it works. Would I consider a sigh? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I have to. I'm playing Lyris. Cats. Keep. Uh huh. Ruby. No bizarre. Soaring. Okay. Oh, uh, not again? I hate this deck. I don't, I don't have a force. It's doomed. Uh, they definitely have a turn two jewel. There's no way they would keep this hand without a jewel. How do we win? How do we win? Saga Emerald. Hmm. I mean, we just have to have a force on top, right? Can we go like seat, emerald, sculptor, opal, top, spin? Is that better? We could go saga, emerald, patchwork, um,. Opal, then we can't top, right? So the best play is Ethereum Sculptor, play a free top, and that gives us Flusterstorm or Spin. I think. I mean, if they have a force, I, I mean, I'm never beating a force no matter what. So, like, no problem. And they top a workshop. Then they have to use their Grim Monolith. If this is a Might Stone, I'm just letting that resolve. That is a resolver, if I've ever seen one. I guess they could still have a jewel afterwards, but... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you have a lot of mana. I see you. You're doing great. Oh, they have a jewel, too. Okay, spin to win. Oh, wow, found a force. I mean, maybe there's a world where you can just leave up Flusterstorm, but I don't think, I don't actually think that's the case. Uh... 
I mean, they might even have force back up right now. Can you blind draw my top? Really get them? I don't really get them. I don't have multiple blue cards. Yeah, they have force back up. Brutal. All right, I mean, this could brick, theoretically. And I could take it with Ethereum Sculptor. I always brick with Jewel, but my opponents never brick with Jewel. Nope. PL for 10. Every time I played Jewel, I brick, not me. I don't know. Everybody else seems to have much better luck than I do, which I guess is par for the course. All right. Steel Sabotages and Force of Negations come in. Uh, patchwork Automatons come out. Is that all we did? Oh, we wanted a needle. A needle as well. For the mental messed up. Jewel is very sad. Very lame deck. Boring to play. Boring to play against. Very, very sad day. Have you ever played the deck, Nami? I bricked every single time I played the deck. Like, I was playing Pact of Negation because I was like, oh, this deck never bricks, so I should just play Pact of Negation, and I just got murdered. I just, like, lost to my, <laughs> lost to my Pact of Negation and stuff. So bad. Like, there's theoretically a world where you can, like, hold up and fluster storm after a jewel resolves, and if they go for a PO, you fluster it. But that, like, negates the point of if my if your opponent, like, has a metamorph, you know, that kind of thing. This looks like a play top and uh, pass angle. Oh. You have a misstep? No, oh, okay. Well, five mana hand. That's just winning, right? Okay. I mean, they could have negation plus mind break trap or something. Mm -hmm. We're still going? Double force on tap jewel? Let's go! Great game of magic. Great game of magic. Would play again. Submit. Well, we get to play it again. How exciting.
I have a cat. Oh no, not like this. I'm supposed to keep it though, right? I, I gotta be. I gotta be supposed to keep this, right? Uh, if I keep this, I will die on turn one. Yeah, maybe they'll force the top. I'm gonna keep it and lose. I want. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna murder myself with dignity here. I'm gonna murder myself with dignity here. Pete with ancestral win with top. What world are you living in? Oh, they have all the information. You may kill me. I'll allow it. So be it. Ancient tomb. Monolith. Pass. We got a passer. We got a passer. That's not a very good draw. Uh, okay. I don't know about that. I mean, they must have a force of will, right? So. I don't think this helps us very much. All right, so we bait with Ancestral. And then we spin draw with top into Force Shredder. I guess we technically don't have to do that. We can just draw into Thoughtcast, draw top and Force, and then spin into Shredder if we need to. I don't think we want to not cast Ancestral. Well, they know about my Ancestral. Uh, no, I can spin the top away. Or I could just replay the top with my a million mana, right? Just resolvers? We're doing resolvers here? One, two, three, four. I think you just need to find one more blue card on top. Bro! There's so many blue cards in my deck. Oh, it's so bad. No, I probably would still pitch the Shredder to Force so I can have another Force if I do make another turn. It's just, it's just Mana Crypt and I get my Lurus into my hand. 
That's so disappointing. Like, I don't think we have any chance of dying if we had double force, but with, with, ah, uh, this is bad. Could loot with Shredder this turn? That is not how Shredder works. <laughs> uh, no shot. If this is a Might Stone, I'm just... Oh. Uh, this is fine. Okay. That's it? What did we keep? What, what, what was the keep over there? Uh, I guess I spin with top and see if there's something better. Needle. Does that do anything? Not really. I mean, Karn is good against us. We don't have anything going for us here. We're still waiting on our top to find something. But if we draw like a reality chip, we have so much mana. Saga, okay. We have that answered. This is a dismember. Oh, a metamorph. I don't think I care, right? I'll just draw with my top. Like if it's a Luris, then we just don't give a crap. I just don't want this to be a top. I guess it can be an opal. I don't think that any of that matters though. Mm, this game's interesting now. Uh, chat, if you want to play Vintage right now, there's a prelim happening in six minutes. Uh, if you go here, Constructed, Vintage Preliminary Event, five minutes. Seven players, that can definitely fire. Definitely check that out. While we wait for our opponent to see which Metamorph. All right, a grim monolith, no problem. Uh, all right, so this is fine. Everything is fine. We get to redeploy a needle here on Urza Saga. And then we get to play a top. And then we spin our top looking for action. Reality chip is our best draw. None of those are reality chip. Man, this is frustrating. We've hit most of our lands in this game. But they are at 10 life, and we have a Lurus, so... They have a Jewel. Is there a world where I just let this resolve? Probably not. I think it's possible, but I don't really feel like considering it. Just a reality chip. Time vault. <laughs> All right. Well, if they have another one.
Oh, wait, no, they can't use their Ancient Tomb anymore. We should be good. They can have Black Lotus uh, Metamorph on my Lurus. That actually is pretty good. Because that lets them rebuy Black Lotus. Ancestral. Okay. That is not a that is not a true statement. That is that is not even close to a true statement. There's a million ways they can win the game after resolving that jewel. Well, right now reality chip is not a combo. Right now, Reality Chip is simply drawing a bunch of cards because I have a Sensei Stop and a million mana. Uh, this looks good for us, though. We're going to win with the Luris attack here. Nice. Ooh, man, these matches have been super close. We drew very badly in this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of our 11 lands or something. Like, this is... It's it's like it's impossible really to draw worse than that, so not bad. Okay, here we are. We're three and zero with our uh, uh, reality ship brew. Uh, opponent likes to play Po Doomsday Jewel, so we'll see what they've got for us. I've got a hand with multiple Force of Wills, multiple pieces of Restricted Magic: The Gathering cards. We're gonna keep it. Looks like it'll be Jewel. So this is going to be our third straight matchup versus Jewel. Turn one PO for two, maybe. Turn one Displacer Kitten. We can just let that resolve, right? I don't think that card matters if there's nothing to blink that like they blink for mana but like they already have a million mana doesn't seem like that card matters very much mm -hmm. Ooh, i feel like sensei's top is a force though You fire the prelim? That's what I like to see. Good luck. They have one card left in hand, and we have a nice, powerful hand still. Blue mana? Patchwork Automaton. Am I allowed to cast this probe? That's a tough choice. I mean, I can just pitch the Ancestral. I wouldn't be happy pitching the Ancestral. But I can. I don't think that's problematic. And I still have a very large quantity of blue cards to draw into. I'm going to cast this probe. Opponent's last card is Force of Will. All right. I think I am just going to play top and spin top. Instead of going for the automaton. So no blue mana. Of course, no blue mana. I do have a large automaton between the tops, but... I mean, I wanted to just cast. <laughs> uh, 
I wanted to just cast Ancestral on this turn, to be honest. All right, well, now if they top deck something good, it's bad for me. <laughs> Things are bad for me. It's a good top deck from them, though, I must admit. They're going to force the patchwork. All right. Patchwork down. All right. So we're drawing time walk. If we don't die. There's a lot of good things happening. All right. Well, we didn't die. That's nice. Uh, draw time walk. I did take a hit there. Show me a blue source, please. <laughs> Patchwork Atomadon. <laughs> ah! It's Justin, 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 Justin. There is like no way this should be happening, right? Right? I'm gonna die to my stupid mana crypt. I'm ready. Yup. Bro! <laughs> Come on, man! Do we deserve this? How deep have we gone? Oh, this losing this game is sad, man. It's so sad. For all the games, I draw six of my 11 lands, you know? I mean, if we just don't lose any mana crypt flips. <gasps> Bless. All right. This probably is getting countered. I mean, we lead with time walk, right? And then we ancestral through our bad cards. I mean, I think they... Oh, all right. If we can win another Crypt Flip... We did not win another Crypt Flip. Okay, how do we win this game? How do we win this game? We don't even have a Force anymore. Um... Oh, cast ancestral target myself. How do we gain life? I mean, we have a Luris. Oh my god, how bad to run. <laughs> Academy. We fit we hit Academy and we hit Chip. Okay, this is perfect. If we could live somehow. We almost have a lethal patchwork automaton. We can't get rid of this crypt, unfortunately. I didn't put any of that in my deck. All right. 
So I play a, a top. Do I have enough here to make a lethal attacker at least? I don't know, like, like eight or nine or something. All right, so if I tap two tops and spin, that doesn't help me. So it's better for me to make a 12-12 attacker and try to win the flip, right? Because I can tap a top. Oh, wait, no, there's a top on top, right? Never mind. All right, well... We're going to play six tops and make a 12-12. And then they're going to have to draw nothing and we're going to have to win a flip. Just how we drew it up. You like those odds? <laughs> Have you been on the stream before? <laughs> There's no way in heck we win this game. We did just make a 12-12, so... You know. Small victories. Die. It's not a 50-50. One, they have to top deck something that doesn't kill me. And then two, and they have to not draw our creature. And we need to win the crit flip. That's not a 50-50. It's a 50-50. All right, all right, chat. How do we do a poll? <laughs> what what do you, are we doing a poll on what I'm guessing or if I win or lose? Which, which poll do you want? Do you want do you want heads or tails or do you want win or lose? All right, we're going to blame chat. All right, I'm down for a, I'm down for a blame chat. Hold on. New poll, new poll, new poll. Heads or tails? Heads, tails. You have 1 minute, chat. Start pull. Oh, this is not the Gamba. This is this is this is you are choosing my fate. How close is this poll right now? Wow. Wow. I see, I see. Interesting. <laughs> no, no, chat, bad chat, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's it's ending. It's ending. Oh. <gasps> You were not able to come up with an even number of polars. Heads wins 30 to 29. Heads. I lost the flip. Chat! I always pick tails and chat made me pick heads. Chat. Uh, chat losing me more matches of magic. Classic.
I always pick tails, you know? But chat, they killed me. People say, you know, on Twitter, in the YouTube comments, they say chat is cheating. They say having chat is a competitive advantage. But do they ever think about the times where chat votes heads when it's clearly tails and gets the streamer killed? No, they don't think about that because it doesn't fit their narrative. They don't think about the bad times. Too sad. Man, we've had to play against Jewel three times this league. Blech. Blech. All right, I have to see if I can beat chat this time and my opponent. I have a cat. Uh, oh, sure. That seems reasonable. Jewel is the second best deck in the format. Let's calm down there. Doomsday is the best deck in the format. I'm going to play out this Emerald so that next turn I can play uh, Shredder and Shred. Man, I like this art. Don't know about this frame, though. All right. We got a Workshop. We got a Monolith. We got a Lotus. Ah, Casual. We got a Sensei's top. I think I have to let that resolve in case they had a jewel. Kind of unfortunate. Man. <laughs> if we don't hit... I guess we actually have Metalcraft because of Seat. Man, Seat is so good. If Seat was any other land here, we wouldn't have Metalcraft for our uh, Steel Sabotage slash Fluster Storm. Kind of, kind of wild when you think about it. Saga Gamer. It doesn't look like I have Metal Graft. Can't believe we lost the 50-50. I mean, I can. I always do. But. Can't believe chat purposely killed me when they knew it was Tails. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can win two games against Jewel and keep our undefeated deck. It's fine. Uh, are you kidding? Uh, okay, you got it. Maybe we can counter a metamorph or something and then steal the jewel. I don't know. Looks bad though. I need a force, please. I need a force. I need a force on this shredder. I need a force. I need a force on the shredder. Please, forces, any forcers? Uh Technically, a force. I don't want to bounce the jewel because I want to attack. I can just steal sabotage this, and it's fine.
And then if they have a follow-up jewel, they have another metamorph. Oh no. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. We still have another gate negation. We still have a negation. Seven mana. PO. No. Oh, oh, I have another connive. That doesn't do anything for me. It'd be cool if it did, though. Uh, I guess I'd rather have Fluster if I steal two jewels. <gasps> it's happening. Yeah, the jewels are all mine. Oh my. I've never been so full of jewelry, I guess. I don't really know. Um. So, do I have lethal here? I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. Shred, uh, Luris is six mana down to five. Ethereum Sculptor is down to three. Chip down to two. I'm one mana short. Oh, wait. I have a Saga, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Down to five, down to three, down to two. I'm one mana short. So let's lead with Ancestral. Oh, all right, we win. And we draw our deck. <laughs> Got him. This deck is sweet. The manifold key is in the yard, so we do have to time walk. We <laughs> All right. Well, that that was fun. I would do that again. I don't know. I don't know. Our jewel shops matchup seems fine. I'm a little concerned that we lost game 1 though. The steel, whoever said Steel Sabotage as the last two cards instead of Tabernacle, they win. They're the good chat. Not like the rest of you who voted heads. 
<laughs> These steel sabotages have been coming up very big in this league. Well, not me and Zajad fighting over over authority of the good chat. Yeah, but which one of you voted heads? That's the tiebreaker. Oh no! 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 Should I should I keep it? Last time. Last time I kept a hand like this. I think it's fine. Like, you have a piece of interaction and you have an answer for Saga. And you have a Shredder. I I'm gonna keep this hand. It won last time when I did this. Look at that. Island Go. I'm so smart. So, I do think we're supposed to play out Shredder on turn one this time. Uh, four, three, four, five, six. I'm going to play a lot of stuff out this time, because what I'm going to do is set us up to be able to do powerful things. Negation. Okay. That's a little unfortunate, because I just played my blue card. And I don't have any mana. So, not ideal. Kind of bad, actually. I kind of need them to play Saga this turn. That was not Saga. I guess I get to loot if I draw. Uh, I don't think that helps me. I think I need to hold all of my spells in hand so that I can loot if they play two spells. I'm, like, really scared my opponent has seven cards in hand, right? But I can always loot away this key and draw, have force if they play two spells. Uh-huh. I've kept multiple just, I don't have force, don't kill me hands today. <laughs> Are they just, like, playing around? No. All right, so this loots us. Oh, I think I'm supposed to steal sabotage that. Well, if they kill my shredder, I'm just going to sabotage it. Now I'm going to play a Needle on Saga. And then I still have Force and Fluster. And next turn I can actually equip Reality Chip. Sabotage has been very, very good for us. I mean, my opponent kept Ancestral. Like, I feel like there's some justification there. Okay, this is a jewel. Well, can I let the jewel resolve? There's like no way they're going to be able to do something after this, right? With four snick fluster and then I can just steal the jewel.
Well, I know... I guess I can force pitching Flusterstorm and then hold up hard cast negation. I'm kind of thinking we want to let this resolve. That is that is what I'm leaning towards. If there was ever a time, this feels like the time. Like, we can force pitching fluster, and if they have force backup, we lose. We can force pitching force, and then if they have force backup, we fluster. I don't know if that, like, actually gets us closer to winning, though. I'm going to let this resolve. This is Metamorph. Like, these matches are force-pitching Tinker. Oh, I have to loot again, unfortunately. Oh, they PO here. We pretty much just lose on the spot. They have one card left in hand. They have something. Nothing. Nothing. Even dismember doesn't work because I can attack with both things, right? I mean, we still don't technically win. They can still play another jewel next turn. Uh, but we have equip. Um, oh, and we have loot. Um, Saga looks fine. Oh, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it. Game. Game. What? Their last card was covered in jewel number two. Oh my god. We are having quite a night, aren't we?
<laughs> Jewel won me a lot of games. <laughs> oh, are we gonna? We are. Oh, oh my. Oh my. Okay, fifth and final round. We are playing against someone who's it's their very first game of vintage. Uh I am currently four and one or no four and oh with all two ones with our Glurus Cat deck. Let's see what happens. Glurus chips. Oh, opponent is also on Luris chips? No, it's a it's a Luris mirror. It is it is a Luris mirror. I don't have any mana, so let's mulligan. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, we are hitting the we're hitting the the back half of our deck now. No mana again. Uh, oh, man. We used up all of our luck in the first four rounds, I guess. Is this just a keep? I mean, they are on Luris, so maybe this can just work. Saga Gaming. Watch them be like the Force of Vigor Saga deck. <laughs> Force of Vigor Luris deck. They kept a seven card hand, so I am... Uh... I am scared for my life. Okay, Saga Gaming Mirror. Okay, so what does that mean? Breach, maybe? Or... I don't know exactly what that means. Sapphire is an incredible draw. Just an amazing draw. Gotta be up there with the best possible draws. gonna hold this opal right because oh no i don't want to hold this opal because i want to be able to up i want to be able to upkeep uh make another uh saga token so all right well this is probably saga at its best multiple moxin turn one with time walk on the play saga gaming they have a moxin to make their own construct or no The answer is no, but they could have, they probably have force. We don't have a needle main. So our plan is end of turn, activate Saga. Upkeep, activate Saga. Get a Black Lotus, draw a Mana Source, activate Saga, and Time Walk, probably. All right. Well, it depends. If I if I hit if I hit a mana source for turn, I want to do time walk. I didn't hit a mana source for turn. So Hmm. I can just go Sapphire Opal, make a construct, Soul Ring, make a construct. Or I can go Saga, Sapphire, make a construct, uh, get a box in, cast Time Walk for the win. Is it for the win? It'll be uh, a fourth thing, a fifth thing, attack for five, attack for ten. It's not for the win. I still feel like we want to time walk, though. So if I were to go make a construct, get a lotus, time walk, uh, shredder time walk.
I think the very first thing I'm going to do is make a construct. I mean, it feels like they probably have a force if they kept this hand on seven. Like, we could just get breach killed, right? Like, very easily we could just get breach killed. But time walk doesn't really help us not get breach killed. I'm just going to go soul ring. Uh, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the best angle here is, but I should be able to set up a kill with time walk next turn too, so... Or an actual kill with time walk. I'm just worried my opponent makes a mana, gets a Black Lotus, and goes breach kill. Because I, I just have no... I have nothing. I can't beat a breach kill. Going to shuffle in their top and keep something. I kind of think they're on some kind of Luris Breach deck, if I had to guess. But they could be on something more exotic, I guess. It's hard to say. We haven't really seen any defining cards yet. If opponent is not on a, like, very strong combo deck, this is, like, the best time... This is the best Saga usage you can possibly get. I guess they could theoretically be on uh, a dress down deck. That would be pretty bad. I mean, they don't need much to combo kill. This finds Black Lotus. They have a Breach in their hand and a Brain Freeze. That wins the game on the spot. We'll give them as much time as they need. I'm happy, always happy to see new faces. And we we we're we're still behind on time anyways from my uh, my tanking so I don't know I I don't think that like if we drew a land I might have gone make a construct time walk with Lotus did that give me lethal though I don't think it gave me lethal right. Because I was attacking for four. Oh, no, that might have been lethal. Uh-oh, are we just getting full keyed? Uh, oh, maybe it's the, uh, it's the, the... Tinker? It must be the Sheer Khan deck. Uh-huh, so you have a mana after this? Can't do anything about it. Oh, oh no. Opponent uh, was not aware that they needed uh, extra mana here. All right. Reasonable idea. Reasonable idea. Uh, we're definitely... I don't exactly know how to play this sideboard here. Um, we were just looking at this deck. So they have Swords, Lavinia, and Pyroblast in their sideboard. We don't know how they'll board. Yeah, yeah, they said it was their uh, first game of Vintage, so. Uh, what do we want to be boarding for this matchup? I don't think we want Patchwork Automatons. 
I think we want needle and counter spells, like 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 jewel shops. But we might want to bring in dismember for Lavinia. I'm not a hundred percent sure we do. We could also want to bring in soul guide for uh, goblin engineer and Luris is also a consideration. It's kind of a hard call. Maybe this is just not a Steel Sabotage matchup, though Steel Sabotage does deal with Constructs. Like, it could just be we want more Needles. I'm not really sure. I don't have a lot of experience playing against this deck, and obviously not with this deck. The biggest thing opponent has is, I don't know what they're going to bring in, but they can bring in Mind Break Trap, Negation, Lavinia, Swords, and Pyroblast, which are all seem pretty reasonable against me. Um, I'm not sure what they're going to bring in, but... I think I'm going to bring in one Needle, one Lantern. I'm not even sure this Negation is good. Like, it hits Force and Thoughtcast, uh, Thoughtcast and PO and Tinker and Demonic. Okay, maybe it's fine. All right, we're going to try this. I, I have no idea how this is going to go or what opponent will bring in. Though, if my opponent had just Tinker there and they were playing the Volt Key deck, they probably didn't have very many options, to be honest. They probably needed to hit Balance or Bust. Uh, they were in pretty rough shape in that game one. Uh, this hand has turn one Luris, replay Luris, so... Yeah. Or, sorry, replay Lotus. I don't know if that's the play we're going to go with, just because we do have Flusterstorm, but this hand has a lot going for it. Could even... I think uh, there's a lot of value in needling a uh, Time Vault. I know we have a Time Vault, but my opponent's deck is very, very, very all-in on Time Vaulting, and they don't actually play ways to remove a needle. So if we play a Needle and name Time Vault, they have to win with Saga Tokens, which maybe is a convincing reason for us to play two Needles. We can go one Needle on Man of, uh, Time Vault and one Needle on Saga. So, like, my opponent's hand is, is quite powerful here. Uh, if they have a Force of Will, we are kind of just screwed unless we draw a uh, Moxin mana so that we can play Flusterstorm. Jeez, they can have Fluster. I guess they can't have Force and Flusterstorm. But I feel like we need to Needle Saga on turn one. Yeah, I think we're supposed to be playing multiple Needles here. I see. I mean, that kind of changes it, doesn't it? Now we don't want a Needle Saga. Well, maybe we still Needle Saga. I guess the question is, are we going all in on turn one for this Luris? And the answer to that is probably yes. If they force it, they don't have any, any, any more cards. And we have backup plans. Oh, they have force. I uh, hope they didn't need to top tap this opal first. Okay, so they forced my Luris. So they have uh, one unknown, and then they're drawing top. We can Needle Saga and then go for Volt Key. They have Academy, so they can get their own Luris back. We are pretty far behind. I think we need to bring in multiple Needles. If we needle, like, all their stuff... Obviously, they have a lot of the same stuff as us, though. I think we were supposed to bring in, like, four needles. 
My opponent's deck just doesn't function through a needle. So they have constructs coming. We really need to hit a blue mana. We really need to hit a blue mana. We hit a top. I can't even make a, a saga token first here, right? Just kind of want to force on top, I guess. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're just going to have to hope they have nothing and bulk key them. I play Time Vault? Are you crazy? What if they have a needle? They have a needle in their deck. They just get the needle out of their saga. All right, I mean, this game isn't over, but it's not looking good. Like, we have enough mana. We have four. Oh, they should definitely have made a Saga token right there. How do we win this game before Crypt kills us? That seems fine. I mean, we just have to hope they don't Tinker kill us on this turn. If they don't, then I make a mana, I play my time vault, I get my key, and I make infinite turns, and then we have to win before the crypt kills us, which I think is fine. We'll see what happens. Like, we don't have very much agency in this game. I think maybe we shouldn't be keeping these fluster storms at all. We should be playing a ton of needles. Well, they have a lot. They have POs. I guess they probably supposed to keep fluster. We're lucky our opponent didn't make a construct in response to needle. All right, they got key, so maybe they just have Tinker or Time Vault or Goblin Engineer or whatever here. They just have it? No? Spin? Still looking, maybe. They got three fresh ones here. They have to six looks to find Time Vault or Tinker or... I don't think Engineer will do it, but... They, all, they also have tap top draw card with Manifold Key, if they know about that. They untapped Soul Ring. What does that do? I sure hope they don't have Tinker. They're paying costs. Maybe they're putting Luris in the hand. Better to just use Academy to do that. You could have probably played Luris this turn if you use Academy and then untap your Opal with Key, maybe? Pass. They might have hard cast force of will. That's something to consider as well. Uh, not much I can do about that. I know I'm drawing of Ruby. I could technically spin after and draw a blue source. Maybe I should spin first and see if I find a blue source. Still have enough. Probe. Doesn't help me at all, right? Nothing helps me here. Uh, yeah, we have definitely been mana short a lot tonight. We are pretty close to infinite if we had a blue source. All right, I have a time vault. Do you have a force? Probe doesn't check for counter because of top, so looks like they have a force. Okay, so this game continues. Uh, we are going to use our top to draw through and then probe to draw through more. 
though this probably teaches them the top trick. Which I probably don't want them to know about. Do I hold this probe? Does it help me to hold this probe? I know my next card down is Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, guess not. I don't know. We're super far behind, unfortunately. What can we really do from here? My opponent should probably... Oh, they win. They have Mystical for Tinker, Tinker for uh, Activate Top, Tinker for Volt Key. Okay. I mean, my opponent's hand was just much, 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 much better than ours. And we are definitely boarding in the wrong way to win this, to ma win this matchup. Okay. I want all of my needles. I didn't really realize just how good they were going to be. What? what? Negate? Force of negation costs zero mana, friend. Uh, I'm just going to play four needles. I think I might just take out Time Vault key. And I'm just going to be needling Time Vault. I want to needle Time Vault and Saga. And then what are they really going to do? We're, I think we're the control deck here. My opponent has way more ways to go Volt Key than we do. Uh, this is pretty close to going infinite, so I think it's fine. So we just go Saga, Needle, Time Vault. And then we go Saga. And then we get a Lotus and go Ethereum. Maybe we get a Sapphire and then a Lotus or something. Hopefully we can. I mean, if we just draw a Moxin that's not an Opal, then we can actually just make Constructs too. Uh, hmm. These fluster storms have been kind of bad because we just haven't had the balloon in. <laughs> All right, spire and what? Spire and top, sure. All right, off color moxen. C. So I don't think C is better than playing. Is C better than playing Second Saga? If I play a C and I play an Ethereum Sculptor, this costs four mana, so I can actually go Lotus with Flusterstorm back up. Well, no, I need a top still. So let's just play a Second Saga. I think that's the answer. Did I take Patchworks out? Ooh. I'm going to have to be kind of careful with the whole drawing the library thing. So if I draw another off-color mana, I can play Luris with Lotus and Flusterstorm, yes? One mana, two mana, three mana, six mana. I need one more mana to play... I'd love to play Luris with Flusterstorm back up. That would put me very far ahead. So 
to spin. Oh, it's key. Oh, they can actually play Lavinia if they have it. That'd be pretty bad. Lavinia is really good against my combo. I didn't bring in anything to answer it. Okay, they're passing. All right, I really would like to draw a off color or actually just any Moxon, even Opal now at this point works. Bot cast. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, the very first thing I do is I make mana with this. This reality chip seems poor. He comes in here on my 4 0 and says, Reality chip seems poor. Get out of here. All right. Um, what do we do? Man, I want to get Black Lotus. I guess if I get Black Lotus and play Ethereum Sculptor, I, maybe I'm just supposed to make Constructs. I should get a Soul Ring, makes a Construct, then my second Saga, Needles, Con Needles Saga, that probably won't make one in response. There are so many choices here, and I have no idea which one is the right one. Because Black Lotus enables both a Luris line and an Ethereum Sculptor Reality Chip line. I don't think Fluster does anything, right? I guess it protects us from PO. <sighs> I don't know. No. Is Soul Ring better than Sapphire? I don't know. I really don't know what the right answer is here. I can't go Soul Ring. Soul Ring was worst. Soul Ring was the worst. Soul Ring, Soul Ring was bad. <sighs> I don't like Soul Ring. Their constructs are going to be bigger than mine. Even if I get second needle here, I don't like this at all. Maybe they're not going to be bigger than mine. I have to get second needle on Saga now, though. Ah. Uh... I mean, I don't think they're going to activate their saga in response, so maybe it'll work out. I just think it I don't I don't think like a thought cast line is good here because they can have their own fluster storm. Their deck has four fluster storms in it. I don't think a Oh, nice. They have the uh I don't think a Lotus Luris line is good because they can easily force of will it. No, I, I if I get Lotus this time, it doesn't actually get me anywhere, right? Like, I want to get two Constructs if I'm doing this line. I don't like this line. I don't know. I don't know. Their Constructs are just so much better than mine right now. Like, I'm going to have to Needle Saga. I can't let them have two Constructs here. I can. I can. But if I get Force of Willed, I lose everything. Are uh, they going to activate in response? They didn't activate in response. So it's a really rough mistake, but it will learn somehow. Um, so I can cast Thought Cast here, but the only thing I'm worried about is... I guess they can just PO kill combo anyways, right? 
Is there actually a worry anymore? There might just not be any worry anymore of getting PO'd because what are they going to do? They can't make Saga tokens. I think my opponent not activating in response to the Saga there is going to lose them this game because I'm not... Con I, I assume they're playing the exact list from Shere Khan in which Shere Khan plays zero answers to Needle in their deck. Bro, you've been here for one game, Moses. Calm down. So the downside of casting this thought cast is if my opponent casts Flusterstorm or I don't draw a blue source and they PO. However, if they just Saga for a Lotus, can I really Flusterstorm PO anyways? I think the answer is just no. So I should have thought casted pre-combat then so I could have drawn more artifacts to attack with. Uh, this is Fluster? Oh, it's Pyro. Sure. Okay, fine. All right, I can just F6 here. I, I mean, I don't know how my opponent is beating Construct tokens with both of these needles in play, so. Like I said, I think if my opponent just makes a Construct in response, this is very hard because I have to probably, like, double block the Construct. But... I think this deck is short on mana sources. I think it needs like a Lotus Petal or another uh, Underground Sea or something. So my opponent can draw through their whole deck with like PO, but they can never Time Vault combo and they can never make a Saga token, which means they have to win with Lurus and Goblin Engineers and we have two 5-5s five in play. Unless they have swords brought in. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know how they win. So I guess we're going to find out together. Like the opponent is going to outdraw us. But we have the two construct tokens. So... Uh, needle on soul ring is is not gonna get the job done. My opponent has messaged me. I don't think I have any way to win this game. They don't have Sphinx because they have Luris. I'm asking him, I'm actually asking my opponent if they boarded in swords or not. Our opponent did not bring in swords, so I believe our opponent is currently dead. Reality chip 5 -0? What reality are we living in? <laughs> yeah, opponent had a rough a rough first match, but you got to start somewhere. And I'm always happy to see more people playing Vintage on Magic Online. Yo, what's up, Abraham? Lots lots to lots to think about in that one. But I hope you keep at it. 
Yes, so this is a 5-0 trophy with our Reality Trip Ethereum Sculptor uh, brew, and it was quite the wild ride to get here. Um, man, this was fun. This deck has some issues that could probably be fixed, but overall, like, the combo is a little clunky. The whole thing is very vulnerable, but you are playing an Ancestral Time Walk Force of Will deck with Flusterstorms and Negations and plenty of blue cards to pitch. So uh, there's always a base level of power that you get by playing full Moxin. Saga, of course. Saga had actually... This was actually a very good league for Saga, uh, considering no, almost none of our opponents were attacking our Sagas. They were all just trying to kill us. Three jewel players, uh, one Shere Khan list, and one uh, Bizarre player. So... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm super happy. Uh, it was close. We had to play lots and lots of games to get to this five. <laughs> we had to play every single game to get this 5 of, but, uh, I'm super happy. If you enjoyed this content, there's more vintage every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my YouTube channel. I will see you then.